हेलो टुडे क्लास इज अबाउट मॉस ट्रांसिस्टर थ्रेश लॉजिक सो वॉट इज दिस थ्रेश वोल्टेज सो एज वी हैव डिस्कस इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लासेस इट सेल्फ एज ए सेड दैट थ्रेश वोल्टेज इज नथिंग बट ए कट इन वोल्टेज वे द MOS transistor starts to conduct from that threshold voltage. So, as I said in the previous class itself, when VGS is greater than when the VGS, when the gate to source voltage is greater than the threshold point, then it starts to conduct. So, same thing here written is threshold voltage is the voltage applied between gate and source of a mosfet that is needed to turn to turn the device on to turn the device on it has to be on for linear and saturation regions of operation so we know that the mos transistor n channel mosfet will works on two modes one is saturation mode and second one is a non saturated or a linear mode next the gate structure of a mos transistor consists of electrical charges stored in the dielectric layers and in the surface to surface intervals as well as the substrate itself so what happens here is the mos transistor consists of electric charges it has some electric charges that are going to be stored in the dielectric layer means silicon dioxide and in the surface to surface interface as well as in the substrate itself so the charges are going to be stored in the di dielectric layer and surface to surface interface as well as in the substrate itself so all these charges all these charges will makes the device to be in a threshold point okay switching an enhancement mode metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor from the off to on state from the off to from the off to on state so in order to turn on the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor in enhancement mode it consists of applying sufficient gate voltage and that gate voltage has to neutralize these electrical charges stored in the dielectric layer surface to surface interfaces as well as substrate itself so what i am going to do here is the mos transistor should be turned on when it is going to be turned on by applying sufficient gate voltage sufficient gate voltage to neutralize these charges so what the charges these are the charges electric charges which are stored in the dielectric layers surface to surface interface as well as substrate itself and enable the underlying silicon to undergo a inversion layer due to the electric charge from the field next so switching a depletion mode and mos so this is enhancement mode and in going to the sw switching a depletion mode and mos from on state to the off state consists in applying enough voltage to the gate and it will add to store charge and invert the n implant region to the p channel n implant region to the p type okay the threshold voltage is expressed vt is equal to vt is equal to 5 ms where this 5 ms is nothing but golden ratio 5 ms into qb minus qss by c not plus 25 fn where a qb is the charge per unit area in the depletion region you have to remember this formula you need to remember this formula so in our syllabus there is no need to realize this equation okay where qb is the charge per unit area in the depletion region where q q implies charge q is the charge density at silicon dioxide where c not is the capacitance per unit area and next 5 ms is the work function differences between gate and source work function differences between gate and source where 5 fn is the 
Fermi level potentials between where phi Fn is the Fermi level potentials between inverted surface as well as bulk of silicon material. Bulk means substrate. Okay. Next, where here it is having the charge QB and QSS, where I am going to write this QB as under root of 2 epsilon naught Q n in times of 2 pi fn plus vsb so where the pi fn so where the phi fn is equal to kt by q len n by ni so this is also from basic formula you studied in edc pn junction diodes so where phi fn fermi level formula is kt by q so which will depend upon the room temperature which is varying natural logarithm linearly by n by ni where ni is the intrinsic electron concentration and n is the impurity concentration of na or nd and next where q is the charge which is equivalent to 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs okay where qss is of the charge qss is also a charge for the substrate as i said here qss is the charge density at sio2 so same qss charge density that value is constant why because it is a silicon dioxide material so the silicon dioxide material is having a constant charge that is replaced with that value it will vary between 1.5 to 8 into 10 to the power of minus 8 coulombs per meter square where here the k represents the stephen boltzmann constant next so after the threshold voltage there exists a body effect in it there exists a body effect in it that body effect is due to the voltage vsb that is due to the voltage vsb nothing but substrate bias voltage this is a substrate bias voltage that is represented in this picture this is a substrate voltage substrate voltage vsb is the substrate voltage okay body effect what it is going to say this body effect refers to the change in the threshold voltage resulting from a change in the differences between the source and body if you change the voltage differences between source as well as this body or substrate definitely it will affect the threshold voltage what is body effect means it says that body effect implies or it says that whenever there is a change in the voltage between transistor there is change in the voltage between transistor source as well as the body or substrate there will be a change in the threshold voltage so this body effect may also be taken into account since the substrate may be biased with the respect to the source so it has to be considered into an our account so increasing this vsb as long as we increase this vsb definitely there will be a change in the threshold voltage okay so change in threshold voltage is due to vsp so how much change it is going to affect is shown in this equation what happens this is the relationship between change in threshold voltage to the change in substrate to the body potential so change in delta vt is equal to lambda times of under root of vsp where lambda is the constant which will depend upon the substrate doping so that the more lightly doped the concentration of the substrate so therefore the smaller will be the body effect so where this is our final expression vt is equal to vt naught vt is equal to vt naught vt of zero plus d by epsilon insulating into free space permittivity into under root of 2 epsilon into epsilon silicon into charge into n concentration into under root of vsb so where here vt of naught is a threshold voltage for the voltage vsb is equal to zero vsb is equal to zero so if i substitute zero here if I substitute 0 here, what happens? This total equation becomes 0. So, Vt, the total voltage then becomes Vt is equal to Vt of 0. So, that I said here. Vt of 0 is the threshold voltage for Vsb is equal to 
zero so you have to remember this equation as well as this equation and also this equation so no need to derive all this one so we didn't have much about that in your syllabus so don't get worried in the next class we will discuss about transconductance as well as output capacitance so thank you thank you very much